All right, so kind of a little word problem here involving the law of sine. So we've got two planes, one flying at 250 miles per, per hour, and the other's flying at 400 miles per hour, and they left the airport at the same time. After two hours, they're 900 miles apart, and we want to know what's the measure of the angle between their flight paths. All right, so nothing crazy again. So here's the airport. So, I don't know, one plane takes off going one direction and another plane takes off going another direction. And we're trying to find that angle between them, their flight paths. So, let's see, a couple things. If one plane's flying 250 miles an hour uh, and they do that for two hours, well, that means one of the planes has gone 500 miles. The other plane that was going 400 miles an hour, well, after two hours, um, that's now traveled a distance of 800 miles and we know the distance between them so the distance between them we're given that that's 900 miles and again we're just trying to figure out their flight path so maybe we can call that again angle C so in this case again uh, just use a little bit of the law of cosines to get us what we need so it would say that 900 squared that would equal 500 squared plus the 800 squared minus 2 times, well, 500 times 800 times cosine of C. So, let's see, 900 squared, that's going to be 81 and 4 zeros. 500 squared, that's going to give us 25 and four zeros. Um, let's see, 800 squared, that would be 64 with four zeros, so uh, 810,000, 250,000, 64,000. Let's see, uh, let's do the other part here, so so two times 500, that's just going to give us a thousand. If we multiply that by 800, that's going to give us just 800,000. So minus 800,000 times cosine of C, and again now just a little bit of arithmetic. Let's see, so 250,000 plus uh, 640,000, that's going to give us what? 890000, zero, 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 890,000 uh, minus 800,000 times cosine of C. Well, we could subtract the 890,000 from both sides. That'll leave us with negative 80,000 on the left. Um, on the right, we still have our negative 800,000 times cosine of C. And at this point, we can simply divide both sides by the negative 800,000. So over negative 800. Thousand on the left will be uh, will just be or excuse me on the right will just be left with cosine of c. On the left, well, two negatives make a positive. We can cancel out our zeros. Eight over eighty is just going to be one tenth. So now if we take the inverse cosine of both sides. So one tenth is just point one. That'll give us our angle c. So now uh, let's just plug this into a calculator. So point 0.1, the inverse cosine of that, I'm getting this to be roughly equal to 84.26 degrees. So uh, they left not almost, you know, almost at right angles, not quite, but pretty close. So this angle between them is 84.26 degrees.